Well, that's the scale of it. A vast leak of thousands of documents from US embassies and other diplomatic outposts across the globe in all those countries. There are stories from every country involved that will embarrass, intrigue and potentially complicate international relations. Some are just humiliating personal assessments of world leaders, how Francis Sarkozy was the emperor with no clothes. Others are geopolitical, how Korea could be unified, how the Saudis want Iran attacked. Many are deeply awkward, such as the claim China launches cyber attacks around the world regularly, and all very embarrassing for the White House, as Emily Rubin reports. It was just before five this afternoon that WikiLeaks claimed on Twitter that it was coming under attack in cyberspace. The news prompted the whistleblowing site to publish what it had long been trailing, the release of 250,000 classified documents of cables sent between US embassies. The Guardian newspaper was given the documents in advance. It claims they'll provoke nothing short of a worldwide diplomatic crisis. First up, the revelation that Washington is spying on the Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon. In a directive apparently in the name of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, diplomats were asked for technical details about communication systems used by top UN officials, including passwords and encryption codes. Allegations of spying have been around before. The former cabinet minister, Claire Short, accused Britain of spying on Kofi Annan in the run-up to the Iraq war. Tony Blair called her deeply irresponsible. Also revealed what goes on behind the scenes of America's relationship with King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia. According to The Guardian, the diplomatic messages reveal he repeatedly urged the US to attack Iran and destroy its nuclear program, a position that has always been viewed as igniting a far bigger war. And the cables reveal that US officials compared the Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad to Adolf Hitler. The publication of these most secret internal communications between US officials are thought to include many other revelations. Criticism of Britain's military operations in Afghanistan, alleged links between the Russian government and organised crime, and claims of inappropriate behaviour by one member of the British royal family. So where do these leaks leave the so-called special relationship between America and Britain? According to The Guardian, WikiLeaks has documents containing serious political criticism of David Cameron by American officials. Tonight, a Foreign Office spokesman said Britain's strong relationship with the US government would continue, and he condemned the publication of these documents, saying they will damage national security and put lives at risk. Well, with me now, Kristen Rasson from WikiLeaks, the organisation that have put all these documents out there. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, is with us too. Um, Kristen, uh, let me just begin with that accusation from the White House. They say you've put people's lives at risk. Well, it, we are uh, familiar with the uh, uh, very strong statement from the US authorities. We've had seen it before when we put out the uh, uh, documents from the, uh, uh, the Iraq war logs. We have take, uh, taken great care in, in redacting the material that we are putting out. Uh, we are publishing now... So individual names aren't revealed, is it? Individual right. names are not there uh, when there's a, a possibility of harm to the individuals. Uh, Lindsay, I mean, <laughs> they've only just been released, but what has struck you so far? What has struck me is that this exposes a lot of diplomatic fictions. Fiction, myth, the surface is very important in diplomacy. For example, in the Islamic world, all Muslim countries love each other. Actually, they don't. What this reveals is that Saudi Arabia has been urging the Americans to bomb the Iranian nuclear facilities. The United Arab Emirates and Egypt have said... The Americans, not the Israelis. No, yeah. the Americans. And they've said that they... And that they've said that... Um, that, it's a, that the Iran is an existential threat to some Arab countries. Now, it doesn't surprise me that they say this. We know that they think that, but these things are never said in public. And in these cables, we're going to find hundreds and hundreds of examples of that. So it's much deeper than the embarrassing personal assessments of, of, of leaders? I mean... Yes, because a certain degree of um, privacy is regarded as very important in the doing of diplomacy. And also, I think one of the most embarrassing things is that here you have the Americans saying, oh, this is what one country or one government says about another government. So it's third-party stuff. It's not just what the Americans think. It's gossip. It's opinion. It's all the sort of everyday traffic of trying to understand how the world works. And it's revealing other people's secrets. How long have you had this material? Four months. 
Same kind of time that you had the Iraq and Afghan war logs? Similar presumably. time, similar time, yes. Right, because the assumption will be as the same source. I want to emphasise, though, that uh, we are uh, publishing cables that are, are referred to in these stories that our media partners have produced. So this will be uh, not be uh, all put out in one one big jump, if I may. It will trickle out over the next weeks, uh, possibly So months. there is much more to come? There I mean, is much more to come, and we might uh, later on uh, involve more media partners with uh, regional interests. Somebody tried to stop this tonight, didn't they? Your well, website was, a, was targeted at one point. There was a target. We don't know where it comes from, but it's being dealt with. And, and what kind of attack was it? It was a denial of service attack, yes. was it? Mm. So they were just bombarding you electronically to take you True. off. Have they, did they take you off? Did they succeed at all? Uh, for a, for a, a short time, I think uh, we are up and running now. Uh, as we speak, I haven't been able to check. Lindsay, I mean, w would you assume that the people with most to lose would actually be trying to do that? Yeah, obviously. Um, but I mean, what, one of the things that comes out in the in the cables, which is interesting, is the the Americans saying that the Chinese have been regularly doing cyber attacks on different governments, countries, and private companies, and relating that back to the Chinese Politburo. So I mean, that kind, this kind of stuff is actually in the in the leaks itself. But obviously, the Americans are the ones who are most unhappy about this. But one cannot possibly say that they're the ones who are trying to attack. The WikiLeaks website, one has no evidence. And what about spying on American allies? I mean, you kind of assume that the Americans would want to know what everybody thinks, but it's out yes. there in black and white now. Yes, and it is surprising. I mean, I'm not quite, I don't quite understand why they want to know, you know, Ban Ki Moon's frequent flyer number or his, his credit card and so on. And the stuff on the UN is quite important because, again, we're not surprised. You know, the UN has, has ever been a nest of spies. It's a great place for different governments to spy on each other. But it is in the UN Convention that, that, that these uh, methods of bugging and so on should not be used. And it does seem that the Americans have been trying to find out very you know, specific, they're talking about bio data, information, biometric data of UN um, leaders. It's not completely clear why. So could, have they broken international laws then that could be... Prosecuted. Well, it's not clear that this ever actually happened. The, uh, the leaks suggest that this was suggested. We don't know whether it's ever happened or not. Uh, just finally, I mean, I don't know how encyclopedic your knowledge is of, of, of what's been published so far, but there's, there's talk of something involving the British royal family. Do you, do you know what that is? Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about individual stories, and, but there are a lot of stories uh, that will uh, be trickling out in the next coming weeks. Right. OK. Well, thank you uh, very much, Kristen Rafson from WikiLeaks and Lindsay Hilson.